back to my channel. I'm gonna start off this video by being super honest and I'm going to let you know that I have a serious mug problem. I just really love mugs. I love floral mugs, I love Disney mugs, I love oversized mugs. I'm pretty sure the only reason I actually like coffee is because I get to drink it out of a cute cup. No lie, it's actually true. So anyways, I went to the Disney store and I saw a bunch of new mugs that were absolutely adorable and I needed all of them. So I figured I would share them with you guys and include fun facts about the attraction or the movie that these mugs are based off of. Let's get into it. So the first mug that I got is actually a part of a set now that's very new, at least in the Disneyland parks. Um, it is the Mad Hatter Tea Party Teacup Mug. If you recognize this, you'll know that this is one of the teacups that spins in the Disneyland parks. They have every color of the teacups attraction. A lot of people were buying the purple one because everyone says the purple one goes the fastest. I got the pink one because pink's my favorite color. So, Also, if you're looking to buy this, it is $19.99. You can probably find it at the Disney Store or any one of the emporiums on Main Street. Fun fact about the Mad Hatter teacups is that one of these oversized teacups is about 37,500 cubic inches which means about 3,000 cups of tea can fit in one of these oversized teacups. Honestly, I feel like I could drink that much tea anyway, so. On to the next one. So this next mug is probably in my top three all-time favorite mugs of all time. It is the Spaceship Earth mug. Actually, do you know what this looks like? It looks like a grand and miraculous spaceship. I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> so this is meant to look like the big Spaceship Earth ball, or as a lot of guests like to call it, the golf ball. Also, I took the tag off of this one, but I'm pretty sure it was around 1995. Fun fact about Spaceship Earth is that it was originally designed to be gold colored but then the Imagineers thought that it would attract too much heat, especially in the brutal Florida summers, and I totally agree with them, good choice. Next, so these next two mugs, I honestly tried so hard not to buy, but they are so cute. They are matching turtle mugs, big and little, from Finding Nemo. One says, Squirt's Little Dude, and Righteous, and the other says, Precious Big Dude and also says Righteous on the other side. So I figured I could use this one for espresso, and then this one is just a really good size mug. So the little one that says Squirt's Little Dude is $12.95, and the big one that says Crush's Big Dude is $14.95. Fun fact about Finding Nemo, if you look closely on the shells of the little turtles, they actually are meant to look like Hawaiian shirts. How adorable. Moving on. If you know me, you know that I love Star Wars. Star Wars is one of my main priorities in life, to be honest. So when I saw this, I could not resist. The mug handle is a lightsaber, and it has the original trilogy's posters on them. And the original trilogy are my favorite movies, so I thought it was absolutely appropriate and I totally needed it. And this mug is $19.95. I found this at World of Disney, but you could probably also find it at the exit of Star Tours in the shop there. So I'm gonna do two fun facts about Star Wars, because like I said, it's my fave. So depending on what movie you're watching, Yoda has a different number of toes. So in The Phantom Menace, Yoda has three toes, but in the original trilogy, he has four. Why? I have no idea, but I thought it was hilarious. So another fun fact about Star Wars is that the sound of a TIE fighter is actually the sound of two things. It's a mixture of an elephant and the sound of a car driving on a wet pavement. Isn't that cool? Moving on. So this next mug is also another one of my favorites. It is a Haunted Mansion mug. This is definitely in my top three favorite attractions of all time. I just really love the Haunted Mansion. I also have the pillow that says, um, tomb Sweet Tomb instead of Home Sweet Home. They have a few different Haunted Mansion mugs. Um, I chose this one because it has the wallpaper on it. If you can see this. This is definitely one of my favorites. And this mug was $19.95. You can find it at World of Disney or in Memento Mori, the Haunted Mansion store. 
So fun facts about the Haunted Mansion, Madame Leota, who is the woman who is trapped inside the crystal ball, was actually voiced by Eleanor Audley. And if you've never heard of her, she also does the voice of Lady Tremaine in Cinderella and the voice of Maleficent in Sleeping Beauty. But the woman who is actually inside the crystal ball, Madame Leota herself and her image, is actually Leota Thomas, who is an Imagineer who worked on a lot of projects in Disneyland in the 1960s. Next mug. So this next mug is also something very new in the parks right now. I actually thought that this was a Little Mermaid mug, but it's a Pirates of the Caribbean mug, which is another one of my favorite rides. So as you can see, this is why I thought it was just some really cool version of Ariel. But what I love most about this is the handle is a mermaid tail. And on the inside it says, Sailors Beware. I feel like this has to be an allusion to the Little Mermaid of some kind because look at her. <laughs> the red hair and everything. Fun facts about Pirates of the Caribbean. This attraction was originally going to be a walkthrough wax museum. So that was Walt's original idea, but after the success of the animatronics in It's a Small World, as well as Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln in the 1967 World's Fair, Walt decided to scrap the idea, put animatronics in the Pirates of the Caribbean, and make it a boat ride, which I think was a good choice. So this last one, I actually didn't even buy at the Disney store. I found it in a thrift store. It was perfect because it was a lot cheaper. It's a Winnie the Pooh mug and it looks like a little honey pot. It's got a little bee on the handle. It's got Pooh eating his honey. And of course, honey written on the other side. So fun fact about Winnie the Pooh is that it was actually based off of a real bear named Winnipeg. During World War I, a Canadian soldier bought Winnipeg off of a hunter for $20 was later brought to the London Zoological Gardens where she became loved by many people and one particular person, a little boy named Christopher Robin Milne, whose father was A.A. A. Milne, who then went on to write the poems and the stories of Winnie the Pooh. The more you know. That's gonna be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If any of you out there love mugs as much as I do, I hope you appreciate all the new merchandise that you can find in the parks right now. So again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe like, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video.